Hello students. So we are starting with our subject data structures and algorithm. Actually, what do you mean by data structure? Data structure means you are arranging your data in an organized manner. Okay, you can store it somewhere to retrieve it easily and thereby you can transform from one form to another. Okay, that is what you call uh, a data and uh, you are organizing it in a um, already defined manner. Okay, so generally, sorry, we can see the definition of data structure. Data structure is any data representation and its associated operations. A data structure is meant to be an organization or structuring for a collection of data items. Okay, hope it is clear. So, uh, we are dealing with the three essential tasks when you are um, considering some data manipulations. Okay, first one is you have to store it properly, thereby you can retrieve it easily. Okay. So first one is storage representation of user. Okay, there you decide how these data can be arranged. Okay, and the second um, step is retrieval of stored data. Okay, you are retrieving the already stored data. Okay, and the last one is transformation of the user data. That is what I told earlier. Uh, you can transform from one form to another also okay and uh, when we are considering this data structure we can um, represent this data in three form one is domain functions and axioms what do you mean by domain domain means it is a range of your data okay suppose you are considering your integer data and uh, integer can hold some minus three six seven six seven is two uh, plus three six seven six five like that okay so that is the domain what it holds okay or the range of values it can hold function may means uh, the particular operation we are performing on this data okay and axioms means the set of rules you have you are defined to the to your operations and uh, or what all operations can be done or what are the what is the protocol you have defined there okay that is what you call an axioms for example if you are considering your integer data okay so integer suppose you are having some uh, value 0 uh, then 1 uh, 2 Okay, uh, similarly, uh, what shall we say, negative values are also there. Uh, so, this is the, etc. This is the range of integer values. Okay, and you can deal, this is the domain of your data type. Okay, integer data's domain is this one. Okay, and what are the functions? Function means you can perform uh, all the arithmetic operations here. For example, you can perform here plus, minus, uh, multiplication, division, modulus. Okay. Okay. So, that is the um, function you have defined here. And axioms means if you are using plus operator, that means it is having only one operand. It is a binary operator. That means you need to define two operands there. Okay. It is a binary operator, so it needs two operands to work. Okay, but if it is a unary operator, for example, you are using minus minus. Okay, minus minus is a um, in decrement operator, but it it has only one operand, needs only one operand. So that is a rule you have defined to your functions and your data. So that is the. Um, the representation of your data okay sorry so our data structure is a triplet and it is defined as domain function and axioms next is the classification of data structures how your data structures are classified mainly your data structure is classified into 
primitive and non primitive okay of which primitive you have already studied in your second semester okay that that is the data basic data types for example integer float character these are the primitive data types then what do you mean by non primitive data types non primitive data types is again classified into linear and the non linear of which linear is again classified into arrays linked list stack queue okay non linear is classified into trees graphs tables and sets what do you mean by array you have already studied it right it's in a sequential manner of data that is what you call this linear structure but non linear means it doesn't have a sequential structure it can be like a tree or a graph for example you are having a folder okay in your system it consists of subfolders again a subfolder will be there inside that many files are there so that is a tree structure okay for example table um, other uh, one another linear the non linear data structure is table table means you are representing your data in rows and the columns for example your data your roll number your name your uh, marks your personal informations that can be represented in a table okay so according to the data we are dealing with we can decide what type of data structures can be used for storing your data so that you can easily retrieve it okay similarly you need to transform that data to another uh, form also okay so that is what is data structure hope it's clear okay so this is an introduction only um, let's move on to uh, module 2 which starts with the stacks a linear data structure okay thank you